Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it is your boy Bishop coming at you with another live commentary. Um, gonna try to not ramble about this one, but to be honest with you, I was just kind of laying on my couch watching TV and doing some thinking, which isn't always good for me because it hurts my brain. But I um, kind of just wanted to just talk a little bit to you guys about some things that I don't really recall ever seeing from any other YouTubers before. Um, Maybe I just haven't seen it. Maybe it's maybe another person's done it, but who knows? Um, but basically, just kind of wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about the the life of somebody who is, you know, on YouTube and trying to do videos for you guys and things like that. You know, and ever since I joined uh, Fear Complex, um, kind of have been, well, to be quite honest, I started off hot, but kind of slowed down, and you know, there's kind of a reason for that. Um, one. You know, it's it's not always easy to come up with ideas for things that you want to talk about because right now we're kind of at that low. Right now, I punched. And I still somehow got that guy cheese. That was lucky. Um, but you know, I think one of the first things that I can talk to you guys about is that you know the idea stuff is not as as easy as a lot of people may think. Now, now what I mean by that is you know we have to, uh, uh, if you're doing to do YouTube, uh, if you're gonna do some things that you know, like like you guys see online all the time. You should have an idea that I mean, it's not as easy as you think. Some of these guys make it look. Let me just move this people really quick here. Um, you know, you got guys like uh, PewDiePie and uh, Lea who got millions of subscribers and stuff like that. And you know, that stuff wasn't always obviously the case for them. They didn't bust into this stuff here and immediately have whole bunch of uh you know people following them and things like that they had to put out good videos to come up with good ideas you know you got guys who come up with the idea for i'm going to do a, a challenge video i'm going to challenge myself to do something that not a lot of you would see or um you know play your ways uh, and then you got the guys who have all the insider information about you know the the new updates and the, the things that we can expect from you know updates in, in cod or any other game that they may cover um, but basically what's, you know, that's, that's not exactly always the case, though. They don't have this, this, this one win idea. You know, we gotta keep it fresh. We gotta keep on talking about newer things. Things are always changing within the gaming community. Things are always coming new and people want the newest info or people want to see somebody play a way that they think is going to be impossible and enjoy maybe watching them struggle. You know, things like that are things that I see the most. Um, but, you know, and, the, and then also, you know, some other stuff that we got to think about when we're making our videos is, you know, is the gameplay good enough? Because, I mean, nobody wants to put themselves out there that they're not good. I mean, I'm not the best, but, I mean, I hold my own, I think, when I'm playing by myself. I don't have a whole squad of people that I play with all the time on Domination like so or, you know, in, 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 in Hardpoint that I can rely on. I mean, that's, and that's fine by me. I've always been that kind of player. I've never been the... You know, hey, let me find a whole bunch of guys and let's go dominate lobbies and stuff. I don't know where that guy's at. Um, you know, let's just see. But like I said, you know, we have to take into consideration you, you guys watching our videos. And if you go, this guy sucks. I don't even know why I'm watching him. It's not going to bring you back for more videos. You know, you're not going to want to come and watch me suck because, you know, that's just not entertaining. You know, that, let's just be honest with it. It's not entertaining for for you to watch a guy suck when you go, well, I mean, I'm not good, I can watch myself suck, because personally, I first started to watch YouTube videos because I wanted to get better. I wanted to find people that were better than me, get ideas from them, and and, and, and try and improve my game as, as a whole, because I wanted to be better. I was tired of getting my ass kicked by everybody, so I thought I would start, you know, watching YouTube videos, and things like that. Oh, reload, not switch guns. Um, so, you know, so I mean, that was my my first introduction to to YouTube was going, hey, what can I do to get myself better? So, I don't know what you're you guys might have done, but you know, that that was me. I wanted to get better. I was struggling to understand the games. I was understand, try, struggling to understand maps and things like that. And there was a lot of guys that that gave me a lot of insight that that made me a better player. So, you know, obviously, I guess that turned out to be a tip if 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 you want to get better at a game like Call of Duty or something like that, watch YouTube videos, watch how people play, you know, and, and kind of maybe learn from their mistakes or, or, or learn from things that they say and 
you know, see how see if that can help you out. I'm not saying it's gonna going to, but you know, it it it, it could. Um, you know, one of the other things that gosh, wow. <laughs> um, one of the other things that, you, that we have to learn, and you know, this has been tough for me, to be quite honest. It's probably been the toughest thing for me is to learn to to talk while I play. Um, you know, if I really want to go full on, you know, balls deep, try hard, I'm not going to talk. I'm going to, you know, turn my game on and I'm going to play and I'm not going to worry about a video or anything like that. I'm just going to go, go buck wild and, and, and not distract myself with what I have to talk about. So, like I said at the beginning, it might be a ramble. I'm sorry, but, you know, I, I, I have points that I'm, that I'm trying to get to and I still want to make sure that I'm covering everything that I can. Um... The other thing that, that you guys really don't see, because this is something that you wouldn't want to see, is uh, not myself, because right now I'm not set up for it, but um, a lot of YouTube people spend most of their time not playing the video games. Um, majority of their time is actually spent, you know, with their editing and things like that. They have to, you know, some guys like to, you know, put little clips from TV shows in there or something and make it funny or... You know, they like to, to, to do little things to keep you guys entertained. So, you know, so that's one of the things that, you know, that you need to realize that it's not all, oh, I get to play video games all day long. I get to play video games. It's, you know, hey, I have to do this and then I have to go and I have to edit it and then I have to, you know, do all this stuff. And honestly, editing from what I've seen has taken, like, you know, can take two to three hours out of somebody's day. You know, you get a 10 minute gameplay, you're spending half of your day, half, to, half of your day going, okay, well, now I got to edit it. And you know, do do what I want to do. Put music in it. You know, um, some people even record their stuff and then commentate afterwards, um, which honestly is probably is the easier route to go. Um, but like I said, I'm not set up that way. Maybe someday I will be, but not right now. Friendly bombing run, clearing the way. Saw that guy go in there. Come on, dude. Oh, he's on the wrong side. 50 50 shot. Um, but you know, like I said, that's just that's not the glorious side of it. The glorious side of it is, is watching things, you know, and, and you can have people who make, you know, montage videos that are five minutes long, but it took them ten hours to edit the, the, the video uh, to make it look good and make sure that you know the music is hitting right and all that stuff. So you know, like I said, it's just another aspect to the videos and stuff. Um not sure I should be capping this. Got nobody else. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have. Um, but you know, that's just like I said. That's just one of the things that, that I think that a lot of people might not realize that goes down. And, and like I said, that is a daily basis. That is the majority of the job is editing your videos and, and making sure that, that things look pretty. We lost A. But you know, lastly, you know, kind of talk about the life, uh, the life, I guess, lifestyle. Not want to say lifestyle because it's not always a style. Uh, not everybody's life is. Uh, YouTube driven mine. I'm you know, I, I'm I'm an older gamer. I've said it before. I've been gaming since Atari was popular. How did that guy not die? So I'm not gonna complain. Um but you know I I have a forty hour a week job. You know, there's guys who are in college that have to study for, you know, exams or high school or whatever and they basically have to sit there and go, Okay, well I have to get class in and then guess what? You know, then I can get to, to playing a game and, and I can get to work on it and stuff like that. But, you know, then they also have to, you know, to, to, to balance their life and their YouTube stuff and, and be able to do all that stuff. Um, you know, like I said, for myself, I work 40 hours a week. I come home at night, I spend a couple hours hanging out with my dogs, you know, do whatever I got to do as an adult, and then... You know, try and hopefully make a, a video like I'm doing that right now. This is actually like right before my freaking bedtime. Like I said, I got to get up for work and stuff like that. Um, but you know, then it it it, it it makes for late nights. It makes for me waking up in the morning and going to work and being tired as hell. But I enjoy doing it. This is something that I really enjoy doing, and that's one of the things that you have to be you know sure of. You have to make sure that you're gonna really enjoy this, um, and that you're not gonna find it as something that becomes more of a chore than anything and you know, be able to balance your life with everything so I mean that's just like I said a lot of stuff that that, that I've been thinking about about you know I, I never thought about how, uh, how how much work these guys put in 
and you know, the stuff they got to be able to do and you know, be able to, to to entertain and you know put up gameplays and 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 keep things fresh and come up with new ideas on how to do stuff you know like i said at the beginning you gotta have ideas on the videos that you want to do you have to be able to go okay well i want to make a video about this or you know i want to uh you know, I, I want my fans to interact with me and give me a way to play, and I want this, and we should do this, and the the it's being starting to do this has really kind of opened my eyes to to, to all the stuff that that goes into it. And tonight I was struggling with going, hey, I got it. I haven't made a video in a while, so I should make one. And then, you know, like I said, I was tired as hell, and I know there's a guy around me. Jesus. Um. But I decided, I'm like, you know what? I just there's plenty of time for me to go to sleep. There's plenty of time for me to do this stuff. And, you know, if I really want to get these things going, man, I really suck at the end there. Then it's just stuff that you have to do. But, you know, I hope maybe you guys kind of got a little more insight into the life of, of, of a YouTuber and, you know, maybe realize that it's a lot of work, but it's worth it. Like I said, I'm loving it. I'm really enjoying what I'm doing. I'm really happy to be a part of Fear Complex. You know, these guys are... These guys have been nothing but supportive from the start, and I'm just going to keep on doing what I do for them and for you guys, and you know, hopefully we can keep going here. So, uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, as always, leave a like, help us grow the channel, subscribe, follow me on Twitch and Twitter. All the links will be in the description. Uh, let's see if I got a uh, care package here, and yeah, let's see what happens here. Because this Tuesday royalty stuff came out. Oh, look, they put a checklist on there so you know whether or not you get that little extra bonus of what you have. Hey, there's something. Look, I'm giving you guys info and didn't even know it. <laughs> but hey, that's pretty cool now. They show you what you're missing and what you need to collect in order to complete that set and gain that 5%. And if you look here, I have a complete set and my guy's glowing. So that's how you'll know when you're earning that extra XP. So, <sighs> man. I'm hoping to get some of that royalty stuff, and I'll keep on grinding out for that. Hopefully, we can keep moving this thing forward. I know we're kind of at the downtime right now between, you know, AW and Black Ops 3. Everybody wants Black Ops 3 now, but obviously, we got to wait for everything. So, um, like I said, I kind of kept continuing to ramble. I'm tired, trying to get this all done. Want to go and get into bed and fall asleep and sleep for hours. So, thanks for tuning in, everybody. As I said before already, check all the links in the description and everything else like that. And until next time, peace out.